Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's recent escapades have been nothing short of a globe-trotting spectacle, with their trips to Nigeria and Colombia making headlines for all the wrong reasons. The Sussexes, it seems, are desperately searching for the next big moment on the world stage. However, in a turn of events that's more amusing than surprising, it looks like their plans for a grand tour of India have hit a rather embarrassing snag. According to royal expert Lady C, Harry and Meghan were hoping for an invitation to visit India, but instead of rolling out the red carpet, India did something quite unexpected they declined. The country home to the iconic Taj Mahal, a site Meghan reportedly dreams of posing in front of simply said no thanks to the Sussexes. Why would India turn down the chance to host the ex-royals? Could it be that the Indian government, much like the rest of the world, has grown weary of the Sussexes' self-promotion under the guise of charity? Or perhaps they've simply recognized that a visit from Harry and Meghan is less of a diplomatic boon and more of a PR disaster waiting to happen. India has a lot going for it. It's a nation of incredible diversity, rich culture, and rapidly growing influence on the global stage. It doesn't need a photo op, with Meghan clinging to Harry in front of the Taj Mahal to boost its image. In fact, the last thing India needs is to be associated with a couple whose international reputation is, to put it kindly, on shaky ground. Let's not forget that the Sussexes' track record isn't exactly stellar. Their trips to Nigeria and Colombia, which were supposed to highlight important issues, quickly devolved into yet another round of criticism and controversy. It's hard to see how a visit to India, a country with a long and proud history, could be any different. What's really telling is how far Harry and Meghan are willing to go to secure these invitations. According to reports, they didn't just wait around hoping for an invite, they actively reached out, practically begging for the chance to visit. Unfortunately for them, India, with its close ties to the UK, wasn't having any of it. The Indian government likely sees no benefit in jeopardizing its strong relationship with Britain by entertaining a couple who, let's be honest, have become something of a diplomatic liability. Of course, there's always the possibility that some private organization might extend an invitation to the Sussexes. But even then, it's hard to imagine the Indian public rolling out a warm welcome. If anything, the idea of Meghan Markle trying to replicate Princess Diana's iconic Taj Mahal moment is likely to be met with more eye rolls than applause. India, it seems, has seen through the Sussexes' veneer of philanthropy and chosen not to play along with the latest PR stunt. They may have had some success in Nigeria and Colombia, but India, a nation that doesn't suffer fools gladly, has made it clear that it's not interested in being the backdrop for Harry and Meghan's ongoing quest for relevance. So, as the Sussexes continue their search for the next country to grace with their presence, it's becoming increasingly clear that the world is catching on to their game. And for Harry and Meghan, the road to global influence might just be a lot rockier than they anticipated.